students one more set of multiple choice questions for first main and fill up the blank for second main let us start two point charges minus q plus q are placed at distance l as shown in the diagram fine magnitude of electric field intensity at a distance r much greater than l means for a short dipole varies as 1 by r cube recall the expression for electric field due to short dipole 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2p by r cube 2p by r cube just observe 1 by r cube magnitude of electric field if this is asked 1 by r square is the common mistake okay this 1 by r square is for a point charge but this is an electric dipole recall those two derivations electric field at a point on the axis electric field at a point on the equatorial plane something like this okay be careful two hollow conducting spheres of radii r1 greater than r2 this is a conducting sphere of radius r1 and this is a smaller sphere of radius r2 okay have equal charges q1 equal to q2 done the potential would be fine potential equal to potential v equal to constant q by r where r is radius potential at a point on the surface okay right now charge is constant equal charges constant is already a constant so v is inversely proportional to r v is inversely proportional to r okay fine as a result v1 by v2 equal to r2 by r1 v1 r1 v2 r2 now observe the relation r1 is greater this is greater means this v2 should be greater v2 means potential of potential of the smaller sphere more on smaller sphere yes equal more on bigger sphere no depending on the material property of the sphere conducting sphere conducting sphere means metallic sphere over so it is more on the smaller sphere A piece of copper is to be shaped into a conducting wire of maximum resistance. Wire resistance is given by rho L by A. Length and diameter. L is length, A is diameter. So resistance is directly proportional to length, inversely proportional to area of cross section area is directly proportional to square of the radius because area equal to pi r square see area is proportional to r square r square is proportional to diameter square because radius is equal to diameter by 2 radius is directly proportional to diameter diameter so we have r proportional to l by d square diameter square now diameter d r dash and dash respectively for maximum resistance for maximum resistance this ratio should be maximum we have to check for all now first is l and d l by d square this is first option second option 2L and D. 2L by D square. So look at the coefficient. This is 1. This is 2. Third, L by 2 and 2D. L by 2 and 2D 
square this gives 2 square 4 to 8 1 by 8 so third option gives 1 by 8 and then fourth option fourth option gives 2l d by 2 2l d by 2 square 2 square 4 4 goes to numerator 4 into 2 is 8 so what we get is 8 for maximum resistance this ratio should be maximum we get maximum for this option so for this option so resistance is maximum if it is 2l and d by 2 a charged particle moving parallel to the magnetic field moving parallel then the path becomes this is the magnetic field magnetic field this is a charged particle moving parallel so theta equal to 0 degree now force on a moving charge force equal to q into v cross b which is equal to q v b sin theta cross product therefore sin theta angle between these two is 0 sin 0 is 0 so force equal to 0 there is no force means this particle continues to travel it is a straight line it is a straight line when do we get parallel circular when do we get circular if theta equal to 90 degree means if velocity is perpendicular to magnetic field we get circular parabola hyperbola not with respect to magnetic field the net magnetic flux through any closed surface is zero is in accordance with gauss line magnetism gauss line electrostatic says flux equal to q by epsilon naught ampere circuit law by osawatt's law so magnetism says flux is equal to zero the phenomenon in which an emf is induced in a coil whenever magnetic flux linked with changes is known as it is self-inductance with respect to the same coil electromagnetic induction electromagnetic induction photoelectric effect mechanical magnetic dimensional formula of l i square where l is inductance and i is current energy is half l i square energy is half l i square so this gives energy energy is m l 2 t minus 2 m l 2 t minus 2 similarly in the case of capacitor energy is given by half c v square unit of c v square is joule dimensional formula is this with respect to resistor energy equal to i square r into t so unit of i square r into t is joule ml to t minus 2 in lcr series circuit when omega l is greater than 1 by omega c the voltage omega l means related to xl this is xc if xl is greater than xc series lcr phasor along the x-axis should be for resistor fix this is for inductor xl greater than therefore let this be xc shorter vector longer vector difference of these two is this xl minus xc now complete the parallelogram 
draw the diagonal wherever you write resistor there you should write current and this hypotenuse is impedance and impedance is nothing but proportional to voltage see voltage is here current is here 5 so if you keep your fingers four finger for voltage thumb for current rotation is anti clockwise every time voltage will be leading current voltage leads current or current lags current follows voltage just go through the voltage voltage leads current lags current is in phase first leads with then lags no so directly don't jump into answers or conclusion analyze and based on this try to get the answer okay students which of the following rays has highest wavelength x-ray radio uv radio waves recall electromagnetic spectrum visible ir microwaves radio waves so in this direction wavelength increases okay for the refraction through the prism as the angle of incidence increases the angle of deviation in the derivation we have this step right deviation versus angle of incidence as the angle of incidence increases deviation decreases and then increases first decreases and then increases first increases increases decreases so it is If the two waves interfere amplitude of the resultant first equation is with cos second is also with cos cos and cos means amplitude is sum of these two a plus a is 2a cos with cos 2a sin with sin 2a okay Which of the following is Einstein's photoelectric effect equation? Rearrange. This is energy of incident. If this goes to the other side, kinetic energy. No. Recall the expression. Energy equal to work function plus kinetic energy. This is H nu. Work function plus kinetic energy. Of course, maximum kinetic energy. Yes, this gives this kinetic energy. No, no. Which of the following spectral series of hydrogen atom is lying in visible range of electromagnetic wave? Recall Lyman Balmer passion Lyman series UV Balmer visible passion series IR fund for IR it is visible it is visible therefore Balmer series the nucleides this and this are see same mass number radioactive isotope isoton isobar isotope means 1 h 3 1 h 2 same atomic number is isotope isobar means 1 h 3 2 h 3 so these two should be same isobar
which of the following is incorrect for semiconductors conductivity of semiconductor increases with the rise in temperature yes that's why semiconductors are said to have positive temperature coefficient of resistance conductivity increases with the increase in resistance resistivity of semiconductor increases this is the graph resistivity decreases graph of resistivity versus temperature no ohms law is not strictly obeyed by semiconductors it is not strictly obeyed because recall pn junction diode we get this type of curve in forward bias this is current voltage ohms law means v proportional to i this gives a straight line isn't it this gives a straight line straight line is observed only here so here you can't apply ohms law so only in this region you can apply ohms law ohms law is not strictly obeyed by semiconductors is incorrect this is also correct statement mobility of holes are less as compared to electrons in semiconductors yes this statement is correct mobility of holes is less compared to semiconductors so here is the wrong statement so b is the answer resistivity of semiconductor decreases here it is mentioned increases okay fill up the blank a galvanometer is converted into ammeter by connecting shunt resistance parallel on the basis of lenz law dash physical quantity is conserved energy is conserved lenz law this is energy phenomenon of polarization proves that nature of light waves is transverse transverse so polarization proves transverse nature force between two protons is same as the force between proton neutron the nature of force is nuclear nuclear force nuclear force the last one is this energy gap in the case of conductor is zero because valence band and conduction band are overlapped okay for serious preparation in cet and neat in physics you have two courses download our class from google play then find out the courses one on cet and one on neat there you will see hundreds of multiple choice questions solved using explanation and shortcut prepare well